In an article published in the Journals of Frontier Systems of Neuroscience, we're just going to basically abbreviate that, Journal Frontier Systems and Neuroscience. Neuro, you're not going to be able to read it much anyways, but just to give you an idea, this May 2014, you always want to footnote everything. They discovered that smart drugs, smart drugs would be classified, let's just say smart drugs, smart drugs, you know the drugs that you take prior to a test, even if you don't have, let's say, ADD or ADHD per that matter, so you can help get your A+, come at a heavy price to young brains. Now young brains, if I can spell it right, to them, the researchers at the Journal of Frontiers of, Neuro, of Systems Neuroscience is around 30 or below because they believe the brain is still developing at that point in time. Now, the smart drugs they're talking about are drugs, for example, like methyl phen date. Good luck reading that too. What is that? Methylphenidate. Well, it's commonly known in classica classifications as Ritalin and Concerta. So basically your typical ADHD drugs. And so what's happened is they found out that when you give Ritalin or Concerta or Methylphenidate to anybody for a short duration, even a low dose, what it affects more than anything else, and I'm running out of room here, but just to give you an idea, is something called brain plasticity. Just think plastic with itty at the end of it. Plasticity. Why does brain plasticity and why does Ritalin and Concerta basically go, oh, we don't like brain plasticity? Well, this is how you plan ahead. This is how you multitask. And this is also how you know the appropriate behavior for a certain situation at say a party or a job interview or anything along those lines. So basically Ritalin and Concerta or anything in the methylphenidate category that helps you get that A plus for your test even in low dose, <laughs> good luck reading that one, for short durations can have a damning effect on brain plasticity, meaning you'll have problems planning ahead, you'll have problems multitasking, and you'll have problems uh, gauging your behavior. So basically converting to nothing more, but oh, look at this, nothing more than I should say a smart robot. Meaning, yeah, you got the knowledge, you did score, you A plus your tests, just that basically since you took it while your brain was still developing, you lost your ability to basically judge your environment properly, so to say. Again, and there's another medication too that they're concerned about from the Journal of Frontier Systems Neuroscience. And this is one for the military called AMP Akins. Now Ampikins is a nerve stimulant per se, but these Ampikins in the military, what concerns them, the scientists, is it causes your nerves to die. So Ampikins sound cool too as a possible alternative to methylphenidate, otherwise known as your brand names, Arulin and Concerta just that basically that's going to have a long-term damning effect also. So keep in mind when you want to weigh the risk to benefit ratio of whether taking these smart drugs to ace your test now, it can really end up screwing you up way down the road in the future. Unless you don't like uh, thinking per se. Alright, thank you very much once again.